Now let me explain about the relationship between a class and an object. As I have told you earlier also, a class is just a performa or a blueprint. That means a class will just be imbibing all the data and all the functions which are going to be applied upon number of objects belonging to that class. Now again I repeat it, a class is just a performa or a blueprint. An object is a physical entity. I mean to say all the objects that will be created using that particular class, they will be physical entities. Like in this example, suppose I have a class products. In the products class, as the data, we will be having product code, description and price. This constitutes your member data. And remember, member data is also called instance variables. Always remember, instance is another word, another term for object. When I say instance, that means I am talking about object. Now we come to this lower part of this diagram. In this part, I have shown the functions which are to be applied upon this, the, upon the objects of this class. Like adding a new product, deleting a product, printing a report, all these are the functions which are also called methods. They will be called member functions, member word because they are members of a class. And in Java as we can call them member methods also. Now see, after creating or we can say declaring an object of the class products, what we will achieve is in the RAM, in the computer's memory, we will have an object like this. This is the object. As you can see, this is made up of these member data, product code, description and price. So this product code, description, price, they can also be called instance variables. Now this whole thing is an object and the values that I have shown 1001 Sony laptop 12,000 these are just uh, I have assumed that there are some values into this object of course when we will be having objects we will be supplying some values also. So similarly if I happen to declare another object of the same class products same class products I'm going to have another object but as you can see, the structure of this object is exactly the same. It will be having the space for product code, description, price. But of course, it will be having a different copy. Similarly, I will be having as many copies of, suppose now if I have the third object, it will look like this. So what does that mean? It means there will be as many copies of instance variables as the number of objects. Like in this example, I have shown three objects of the class products. So the instance variables, the instance, the, uh, I will talk about the first instance variable product code. How many copies does it have? Three, because there are three objects. How many copies of instance variable description? Three. Similarly, three copies of the instance variable price. 